G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley Spline Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, bone fishing Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden. See the green? Does it? Yep. So what we've got, we're just going to walk along the edge. Oh, here's one just here. Seen us waving around, I'll just try and plonk it in front of him. Okay, where's he going? Can't see. But um, yeah, the fish will cruise in and out in the shallow water. We've got lovely weed beds just you know more than 10 feet sort of out and uh, plenty of plenty of tucker for the fish and things like that, and I'll just move around looking for, for uh, Little morsels, quite often you get a lot of um, cicadas throughout summer as well, will drop off here. So, uh, great place for a fish to live. Nope. Just one here on the edge of this weed bed. He's come straight over to it. And he didn't want to eat it. Well, that was interesting. I just cast, he was just sitting there motionless. I just cast, and as soon as this hit the water, he was straight over to the dry, ready to take it. And uh, then refused it. It may well be too big. I've put quite a big buoyant one on, considering we had the wind. Uh, and it worked earlier, but it hasn't now. So we've just got to change that. To, so always go smaller, something smaller, and uh, that'll create something. But just when I picked that up to, to recast is when he darted after the nymph. So they do like some movement at times as well. So just try different things until it works. And what might work around that bend might be different here. So uh, pays to change. I just need to, to go down a little bit. All right, just going away. Not trying to run. <laughs> There we go. Oh! And left with his fins poking out. Gee, that looked good when they're that high. I don't know if you can see his tail there. It just pops out now and then. So I've got this little blowfly. seen it yet but I might his tail's gonna flick it oh and he's got it whoa well, that was magnificent <laughs> oh well after that last break off swap into that blowfly that, that's uh, I even through a little hissy fit, which I don't normally do either. But this was magnificent. We could see him. It's a little bit hard, and it's hard going in this too. I'm about uh, up to the old fella in, in, in silt here, and uh, I could just see. Well, he's a good, yeah, good fish. Just see his tail as he was just cruising along there. And they're pretty, they're pretty much like, in, in a situation like this, they're going to be like seagulls, you know, at McDonald's. If it's a chip or a bit of hamburger, they're going to eat it. So um, that was good. We, we've gone with the blowy. And he liked it, which is good. It's not all about catching fish, but it just makes it much more fun when you do. And they're just stunning, these fish. I'll bring him in a little bit closer, plus I can get out of the... Uh, the, uh, the silt that I'm in here and these always over this bank here 
always has browns. They have some thumpers too, and I guess they do. Like in, in season, in the summer, you would have uh, cicadas all through it. Off these, these beech trees and things, so. Oh, I'll just bring him over. Well, he's, got, he's still got a bit of life in him. I'm not going to try and net him just yet. That was good. To lift that rod and you have a good bit of weight on it, makes it ideal. Oh, that's a bit better, a little bit firmer ground. So that's good. Get that fish in. to see in, the, in this mud and that silt but uh, we'll get that net under him beautiful so that's uh, he's a little bit muddy in there I'll take him in some clearer water but it's great to get a fish like that in the net and you can just see just this little blowy if you see it I mean we obviously sell them in the shop but it looks so fluorescent that I'll rip that out and just give you a look it looks so fluorescent that you wouldn't believe that that's something that a fish would eat. Uh, and yet you see a, a real New Zealand bush blowy and that's exactly what they look like and the fish certainly love them. So, uh, and this one did. Beautiful colours. Oh, I might even have to weigh him, he'd be, uh, oh, I don't really care. He's four and a, four, four and a quarter. But uh, stunning fish, Mavora Lakes. Oh, on a dry fly, absolutely brilliant. I'll just put him into some clear water so we can see where he's going. Beautiful, beautiful. Thanks, mate. Fantastic. Such a beautiful fish. You see the, the depth in that back. They're just a, it's, a, it's a big, strong, powerful fish in good nick, plenty of food, magnificent environment, and uh, it's just sensational. And that's why you fly fish. When, uh, when things are not working, you know, it's, you know, it doesn't really matter, I guess, you know, it's not life threatening or anything like that, but uh, when you make a few changes and it uh, alters things and it makes the fish take and you can get a fish like that, it's absolutely magnificent, so uh, that's why I do it. Absolutely brilliant. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, today's episode on the Mavora Lakes. It's an outstanding fishery, as are many of the lakes all throughout Southland. Um, it's just incredible. And if you get the opportunity, a little bit of time, don't just jump to the rivers always. Get out and have a go, because it's still very stimulating fishing, all sight fishing, and you kind of come across some pretty enormous ones as well. So, uh, yeah, if we knocked off a little bit of wind, a bit more sun, and probably even would have seen a lot more and caught a few more as well. But, uh, yeah, it's certainly brilliant. But I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, I look forward to catching you next week on the fly.